Welcome back to Joe's Computer Museum. Let's give this Apple II a kick in the pants with the Fast Chip 2E. Warm up the CRT, it's time for another episode. The Fast Chip 2E is an accelerator card for the Apple IIe designed by Plum and Vaisalov of A2Heaven.com. Built with new technology, it runs fast and cool, drawing very little power to make your Apple IIe fly like a rocket. This card is stacked to the gills with features. Let's check it out. Fast Chip 2E comes in 65C02 and 65C816 options. Most people will want the 65C02, as very little software for the Apple IIe will take advantage of the 65C816 processor. As of time of publishing, the 65C02 option was the only version available anyway. It has an external control panel, which allows you to change processor speed from 0.2 MHz to 16.6 MHz, and also halt and start the processor on the fly. No shutting down to change crystals or dip switches. It has a built-in control panel application that allows you to set startup speed, change compatibility with sound and joysticks, and other nerdy stuff. Just hold down escape when turning on your Apple and you're in. It can emulate both Slinky style memory cards and Ramworks memory. Three cards for the price of one. It even has an RGB LED with multiple settings. Pretty! And probably the best feature? It can go in any normal slot, even the normally unusable slot 3. So how well does it perform? Pretty well. Overall, it's an excellent accelerator. It does its job and is very stable while doing it, even at 16.6 MHz. No matter what I tried, I couldn't get this to fail at any speed. It just works. I've run a full suite of benchmarks on the card too. Let's take a quick look at some results. I have a full rundown of these benchmarks on my website, link in the description. Since I've now reviewed two modern accelerators, let's compare them, the Ultra Warp and the Fast Chip 2E. As stated, Fast Chip 2E is stable at every speed. The Ultra Warp seems to have some variability of stability at the upper end of its scale, depending on the batch of logic chips your card happens to have. This is a point in Fast Chip's favor. Fast Chip runs 3.6 MHz faster at maximum speed compared to Ultra Warp. Fast chip benchmarks, however, seem to be slower than the Ultra Warp at the same or faster clock speeds in most instances, but a few others it's faster. Also, Ultra Warp seems to accelerate ROM bound programs better than Fast Chip does. This is likely due to some minor variation between how each of them detects when to sync acceleration to the Apple II main hardware. On the average, performance is so close though that most won't see any difference at similar clock speeds. What I find most amazing is that the fast chip, when set by the dial at 1 MHz, is almost always slightly slower than the native Apple IIe by about 2.5%. I assume this was because its 1 MHz clock was exactly 1 MHz, slightly slower than the Apple IIe native clock. But a quick test with an endless machine language loop in RAM, and the thing hooked up to my oscilloscope here, confirmed this to be incorrect. So it seems that even at 1 MHz, Fast Chip is still doing some internal logic when accessing different parts of the memory map that causes a slight performance reduction. The quick way around that though is to simply turn Fast Chip off by pressing the far left button or cranking up the dial one notch. It can't be all perfect though, so what problems are there? If you have your own RamWorks style solution and opt not to enable the built-in RamWorks card, you'll find that acceleration in programs using OxMem will be severely limited. This is because FastChip can't accelerate RAM that isn't on its own card. Simply enable the onboard RamWorks emulation though and it's not a problem. But this brings up a different problem. FastChip only emulates 448 kilobytes of RamWorks RAM. So if you have a real RamWorks with more RAM on it, you end up losing all that extra space. Also, when you enable the RAM Factor Slinky style memory expansion, you have to choose a virtual slot for it to occupy. If all your other slots are full, you'll lose access to the card in the slot you choose. Although it's not perfect, this card has so many benefits. One card can do so many things. Accelerator, RAMWorks, RAM Factor emulation all in one card? 
One simple package to push your Apple IIe to the max. A big upside is the stability. The card works faster than any other card out there without any crashing. The best though is the price to performance ratio. When you combine all of the other features together along with the fact that it is new hardware that uses a fraction of the power of three separate cards, the price is a steal. The 512 kilobyte 65 co 2 unit is $150 at the time of publishing. Final thoughts? This card is great. Three cards in one, rock solid acceleration and modern low power technology. With all the speed, stability and features, you can't go wrong. Well, that's all for today's video. If you liked it, drop a dollar in the Patreon cup. And remember, 8 bits are all you need. There's so much noise going on upstairs right now.